Hey guys, Aaron Baker, No Sugar Coated News, and I'm going to give you the No Sugar Coated story about what's happening on your streets, the Occupy Wall Street movement, what it is. This is a movement led by the anarcho-communists. Now, what the flag is that you're looking at right now, you've probably seen this before. I'm seeing this all across the nation right now in these YouTube videos and movies and this here was in Eugene, Oregon. There was more of these flags. There was only one U U United States flag. There was uh, many just straight red flags, which are uh, just for socialism. Many of the straight black flags that are for straight anarchy. And many of these uh, red um, half black flags, which is uh, anarcho-syndicalism. Now, that's who is leading this movement. But I'm going to tell you what this is, was something secretly set up actually by the communists. And it's what you call a vanguard, a vanguard movement, vanguard party. And in 1902, this is what Lenin wrote about in his book, What is to be Done? Because he had went to Russia and he did investigations and he found that the working class, the proletariat, was working too much to be educated in Marxist theory. So therefore, what it was going to take was a different party, a vanguard um, of extremists highly educated in Marxist theory to try to initiate revolution of the working class. And that's exactly what this is. Um, you know, as soon as I uh, I got home from the uh, the 15th, October 15th, uh, the first day they had the uh, protest in Eugene, I Google Occupy Wall Street. First thing that comes up is the AFL-CIO um, address right at the top. Right now, you can probably Google that and find that. That's the number one Google thing um, that's popping up as an advertisement on Google for Occupy Wall Street. And... And I knew this before I was on Google it. That's why I Googled it, because when I was at this protest, I seen that union leader, I seen that union leader. Those are all AFL-CIO unions. And so this is working. This is exactly what a vanguard movement is supposed to do. It's supposed to radicalize the working class that is the proletariat uneducated in Marxist theory. And... Always, the anarchists have worked with the communists. They never want to, but they're always used by the communists. And, you know, sure, there's, there's times um, people can argue of when, you know, anarchists actually had an autonomous region, self-governed, uh, like in Ukraine after the uh, Civil War, Russian Civil War, uh, Makhno. But how he got there was working with the Bolsheviks, the Mensheviks, and, you know, and then he was finally overtaken. He was used. And that's how it always works, because these international bankers will always finance the communists over uh, the, the uh, anarchists and all that. Um, so that's why these, uh, this anarchist movement that's happening, um, I don't think it's any uh, a coincidence that the Occupy Wall Street website uses the clenched fist as a symbol which has always been used in all of the communist revolutions and I don't think it's you know any um, joke that they're using the anarcho syndicalism colors the red and black even in their writing right on their website of their title and I don't think it's any joke that the um, artist of Obama's hope poster made a poster for this movement now, um, Shepard Ferry. Um, <laughs> why? Because the communists had set this up. It is a vanguard party. You need to, I'm going to put, go to my website, I'm going to have all the information so you can reach this type of stuff, research this stuff. And, oh man, you know, and why can I so clearly see this in Eugene, Oregon? It's because in 1999, our former mayor, Jim Torrey, had 
called Eugene, Oregon, the anarchy capital of the United States. Because why? It came into national news after the World Trade Organization protests in Seattle, Washington. It was a group of Eugene anarchists that used black block tactics and went up there and crushed out all the uh, these corporations' windows. And right in Eugene, Oregon here, we have a uh, nationally known author, John Zerzan, um, you know, who is a uh, tied in with the Unabomber even, um, who was an anarchist. And this John Zerzan even attended all of his, um, his, his trial. Um, so, you know, in this movement, the anarchists, in, in every instant of uh, communist revolution, they're there. They're right with them, and they're usually being used. Um, people will argue that, but in the end, they are. And you got to know that even our president, William McKinley, was assassinated by an antar- anarchist, okay? Um, so... It's no joke. This is no joke. We already had a car right in Eugene burnt, lit on fire, destroyed. And before they did that, they spray painted it saying we are the 99% with anarchist symbols and profanity directed towards the mayor. I'm telling you, no one out there is giving you the true story on this, that this is a vanguard communist revolution that's happening right now before our eyes. No one's given it. And I'm telling you, everyone in town, I think, is scared to tell you. The mayor's scared. She's already, there's already a car burnt on the street. The police are afraid to even say who did it. And <clears throat> anyhow, all I can do is show you a little bit of the footage from the April 15th meeting here in Eugene, Oregon. Um, first, you're going to see... I'm already sh- I've already showed you a lot of these uh, flags. They outnumbered the American flags. I'm going to show you, first up to talk at, in the video here, was University of Oregon professor and economist John Bellamy Foster. And then after him was a, a Black Panther, Malik Rahim. And then um, you'll see the, uh, the march um, go over through Eugene on the Ferry Street Bridge. And then they started camping. They're camping out currently. And even the University of Oregon professor blamed capitalism in saying that it's the problem. And capitalism, remember, is private property owners having the right to means of production. And that's what they're against. They're against people making profits. So um, it's it's really extreme. Thank you for being here. Remember, this is the beginning of something that we're picking up. The ancestors that came before us, this isn't something new. This is just the next step forward. It's going to take some time, so let's enjoy the process. Let's have fun while we're doing it. Economist, and he is about to leave Eugene to go address Occupy Wall Street this week. You are here as part of a world movement. Occupy Wall Street is now a world movement. Foreign Affairs Magazine said, uh, which is the publication of the Council on of uh, foreign advisors writes that Occupy Wall Street is critical of Wall Street, but not of capitalism, that you do not question the system itself. We go. Go. We go. I, I want to say uh, that they are wrong. Yeah. You are part of a growing army of uh, Occupy World, uh, Wall Street worldwide, and you know why you are here. You know that U.S. society has become fundamentally unequal. You know, though, you may not know the exact numbers, that the top one... Whose name is Bill Gates? Come up and speak. His name is Malik. So please come up and lay down 
your speech, Malik. <laughs> Continuing and making history. You got them scared. Yeah. 